Okay. This should be working, hopefully. I can see it behind my stuff, so I'm assuming it's working. That is all I can do. Even though I do know, assuming just makes an ass out of you and me. That is legitimately how I learned how to spell the word assume. Hello, AI. I've been playing this a bit today. I'm not exactly on the best track record right I've relogged at some point. Um, I've been losing more than I've been winning today, but it's fine, because I'm, I'm after doing directives, so... No Nautilus. Getting this directive done was... not intentional. <laughs> was actually done in ranked. And because they currently have free commander respects going on, I've respect my French Gascon commander to be full out secondary built. And yeah, this this thing is much more dangerous now. They already said with hello Nautilus. I may have forgotten. I don't remember. Uh, it was only yesterday I wasn't live. No one rains secondary shells on you like Gascon. Nobody is special like, like Gascon, either. Oh boy, we have a Conqueror on our side. I just noticed that. The British battleships and cruisers basically have an armor repair that lets them 3D print a new ship on command. It's freaking ridiculous. To make up for that, their armor isn't the strongest, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> that, that conqueror there can probably go from near death to freaking full health again by pushing T. Like... <laughs> Gascon never surrenders. Gaston might, but Gascon never. Honestly, given the player base of World of Warships, it'd be most likely to be the American ships surrendering. He he's spelling the name of my ship, but with a K. <laughs> G-A-S-C-O-G-N-E. Guscon. Oh, hey, the Minotaur went towards B. Sorry, little buddy, but you're probably gonna die in there. Because that's a nice little circle where nobody can help him. Oh, hello, Yoshi. Hello, Yoshi. <laughs> Rude! Gonna fire at me and not even hit. Whoa, that was a lag spike. Jeez. He's not very good at this whole aiming thing.
Oh, died. Oh, it wasn't him. Damn it. <laughs> it was a destroyer over there. And then one of our two of ours died. Oh god. Oh, I played it yesterday. <laughs> well not yesterday, the day before yesterday. Last stream I was playing Splatoon 2. as long as I've been playing warships a day, usually. Come on, Smaland. Oh, jeez, I can't. Oh, that's such a beautiful Vladislav to shoot at, and I can't because there's an island in the way. Damn it! Curse you islands! Oh, now he's turning. That was such a beautiful broadside. I know I'm also giving him a broadside, but I have turtle back armor. I have protection to, for my citadel. His citadel is his armor belt. Oh, hi, Shimakaze. I did not realize that was a Shimakaze. <laughs> oh, God. Well, at least I'm going to be behind this island soon. And it's now dead. Damn it, Yoshi! Oh, and it's trying to torpedo the small end. I think. Maybe the gym. Or maybe the. No, it's the Massachusetts back there. He stopped moving. Okay, he's moving a bit again now. I've actually been playing Minecraft a bit lately on my sister's account, playing a mod called Mindscape. Which is RuneScape old school, but in Minecraft. I still refuse to buy Minecraft again, but my sister lets me uh, use her uh, Minecraft, so. Uh, cruisers have torpedoes too. Just destroyers do torpedoes the best. It's kind of their thing. Now, oh, jeez. That Akisuki's gonna die. Okay, I don't need to worry about ramming into him. <laughs> it's not very polite to ram into your allies. Ow. Yep, aircraft also have them. Aircraft have the worst torpedoes. Cruisers can be kind of hit or miss. Like, the Russian cruisers don't rely on their torpedoes. They don't really have range. Um, Japanese cruisers have really good torpedoes at really bad angles. They're really only good at using them while running away. I should put those out. Nano material near the case on Cushion of Psychotic. Can you? Hey, messy boy. Hey, messy boy. <laughs> I feel bad for stealing that kill, but my kill now. Yeah, I'm letting that Conqueror go first. He can 3D print a new ship. I can't. <laughs> there is still a destroyer alive. I don't think it's on this side of the map, though. I hope it's not on this side of the map, because I am going really freaking slow right now, and it would be a pretty easy target. Fair enough, Nautilus. 
Damn it. Concentrated his guns, not him. Oh, I need ribbons, and all of these secondary hits are ribbons. So I am okay with this. Alsis, your buddy abandoned you. I still got a buddy. Ventart is good. Oh, he's gonna try and ram me. Come on, ship. Spin, spin, spin. Damn it, I penetrated his gun again! Damn it! Really wish Wargaming would make the gun be part of the ship. Like, goddamn. I would have lived had that actually penetrated him. But no. Yeah, I mean, my, my rules are can basically be boiled down to don't curse, be nice to each other. Like, that's about it. <laughs> Try not to bury each other's messages in all caps spam. Regular spam is fine, just not all caps. I just don't like all caps spam. <laughs> that's literally why that rule is there, is I just personally don't like all caps spam. Yeah, see, I don't mind that. <laughs> also, Robotic may show up at some point. I don't know if she will, though. And if she does, I expect spam. Um... <laughs> She was gonna go and, and and talk with Jay, so they they may show up, they may not. <laughs> Fish can roll. <laughs> Do either of you two know what that's from? Hmm. It's from a game called Nuclear Throne. It it's a twin stick shooter. It's really good. I suck at it. Um, it's very hard. Um... I also just really suck at it, but, you know, Robotic's pretty good at it. It also has surprisingly deep lore for what it is. Also, yeah, I may as well show- I have Yamato now. I haven't used it much, because Yamato is very much a ship that is very hit or miss while using it. Oh, hey, I completed another daily thing. I apparently completed a campaign. 
I incapacitated the steering gear at some point. Good. I don't really need any more of these set up. Because these two should take me to the end. So... Get... Oh, I can unlock this. Neat. I'll take Yamato into a match. It it does well if its team is good. And you'll see why once I get using it. To basically summarize, it has really good guns that turn really slowly. It itself turns really slowly. Accelerates really slowly. <laughs> Get the webcam a little more centered. So I can't really move too much. I'm already where my chair should be. Oh boy, both teams have a Shimakaze. Nothing like knowing there's probably going to be 15 torpedoes heading at my face. Or maybe not. No destroyers directly on this side. Though these two are likely not going to stay over here. We do have a division of Kerfirsts, and they'll be in the center. But, like, look at that turret traverse. <laughs> like, I should probably swap this thing off of its secondary build. I just really like its secondaries. But it being secondary built does mean that, uh... I don't have bonuses to my turret traverse. Which, you know... Kinda sucks. What is Woka again? Like, that back turret is pretty much useless to me at this point. Um, hello, Emerald. See, there you go, AI. There's some fetish chat gonna start. Uh... <laughs> I should speed up a little bit. Oh, if only that island wasn't there. Yeah, it doesn't usually actually work. Oh boy, there is a destroyer over here. Great. Hey, Republic. Nice broadside you got there. Shame if somebody were to uh, shoot it. And yeah, it's generally a good thing schools are getting shut down. Damn it, he turned. At least we have our Shimakaze over here. Though I am... I'm in danger! <laughs> Damn it. it doesn't so much dry it as it more gives the moisture somewhere to go, but that's not really all that important in the grand scheme of things.
I penetrated his gun. <sighs> Freaking zero damage penetrations. I am not making sweet love to his gun, AI. <laughs> oh, see, that's a Worcestershire. Its guns may not even have the girth for that. Well, there's going to be some blue on blue, potentially. Or not. Okay, that is a Minotaur. Bleh. Let's get my aircraft launched. Yeah, that's not the worst thing. It's better to be safe than sorry. I mean, for the most part, you know, the youth are going to be pretty okay, but it's still better than everyone getting sick. <laughs> Doesn't matter too much. That's a Minotaur. It'll repair that damage. But I citadeled him. My guns turn about as fast as the ship does. Bleh. Yeah, it's scary stuff. No one I know has it yet. I don't know many people, though, so... Might have something to do with it. I mean, he'll probably be fine. If he's had the flu before and come back from that, he'll be fine. Um... It's not to say this isn't something that should be worried about, but... Hey, I hit him. Can't leave my engine broken. 
Yep, there's the Republic firing. I knew that was going to come. He loaded HE! Okay, thank you. Thank you, Republic, for being an idiot. That Minotaur, though, is really getting on my nerves. Jeez. I hate ships that have autoloaders. Most of my ship's HP is just gone because of that little bastard over there. And there is nothing I can do about it. Because he's in a smoke screen. But no, Smolensk is such a bad thing. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, good job, team. Wait, there was a friendly Minotaur nearby. Where did he go? When did he die? <laughs> Whatever killed him was not something that cared about me, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. That Shimakaze was way too freaking cowardly. Like, there is no reason why he wasn't off doing his job. <laughs> would have also helped if the Midway would have come and helped, but, you know. See, this is the problem with Yamato. My team let me down, thus I failed. I don't have that issue with Thunderer. Thunderer can hold its own. Thunderer could have... I probably could have taken that whole side with Thunderer. But Yamato needs support ships. It, it basically just needs them. There, there's no real argument there. I mean, this Thunderer is pretty screwed, because he has a Kerfirst, a Smolensk, the Minotaur, and a Republic all going to be firing at him. And he doesn't have the standard British armor repair. I really wish Thunderer had that. That thing would be so much better if it did. <laughs> but, like, I'm not going to play ranked, because, well, I don't think I can get any further. But this is what Yamato is capable of. <laughs> I mean, this is a match with fewer players in it. Where, generally, the battleships are the first things seen. They are the first things being shot at. That doesn't hold true when it comes to... ...randoms, though. Or even, is it in here? Yeah, it's way down here. Like... It's way too reliant on its team. At the very least, with the build I have. I could come in here and use the free respec and change myself to a full survivability loadout. Which would help a bit. 
I'd also have to come into modules and trade out this for uh, the uh, main battery modification one. Help with the terrible turret traverse of 48 seconds. It probably wouldn't hurt to throw the main battery modification 3 onto it, give it better reload time as well. Though it already has one of the fastest reloads of the inline tier 10s anyway. It just... Kinda suffers from bad teams. That That is the biggest issue Yamato has. I actually wonder... Okay, Thunder's HE does hit a little harder. Low Rand. Eh, my day's been pretty good. I should really go back to working on Iron Duke. I've only used it a battle or two. Its commander is sitting on Thunderer, so. Because that's the bonus of premium ships. You can just have your commanders from normal ships be their commander. So. Let's you retrain them without actually losing any... Any any progress on the captain, in a way. Well, any use of the captain, I should say. Main issue this thing has is it has much worse turret turn rate than freaking Yamato. <laughs> How's your day been, Rand? All right, Nautilus. I could also work on Byron. There's a lot of ships I could work on. Because after using Thunderer so much, I do want... Um, I do want a Conqueror. I know it won't be as good, but... It'll still be good enough. Yep, there's Yamato back. There's potentially lost money. Because <laughs> I am out of premium time now. Sadness. Oh no, I still made 50,000. Hey! Loot box! Resources! Coal! Give me coal! Coal is the most valuable of the resources. Damn it. I don't want these. I mean, they're handy, but I don't want them. <laughs> That's good to hear. I've still yet to get to that music. I, I will get to it soon! I need to just set aside some time to just listen to music. Also, jeez, I am really low in the frame. Um. Come back, Nautilus. That's yeah, a little better. It's still not the most centered, even though it looks centered to me. Oh, well. Like, I really feel like I should save up my coal and steel to see if I can get Jean Bart or Smolensk before they leave the premium shop forever. But I want this thing. I want the Blishvik. Blishkvik. I can't pronounce it. The Blish! Which I should be pretty close to. Because that's basically 17,000 coal. So, I need about 4,000 more. But I want it so that if I do get any of the uh, early access European destroyers, I have somewhere to train the captains. <laughs> and I honestly just, like, I kind of want Jean Bart, but at the same time... Jean Bart is just this thing with a reload booster. And Rochelle Yu gets better matchmaking. 
So... I'll probably just stick with Rochelle you. <laughs> the problem with having Yamato now, though, is that I don't overly have a reason to use Yamato. <laughs> Because, like, there's nothing I can research with Yamato. It just exists. Yeah, I'll, I'll work on Iron Duke a little bit. Is this a camo? I have a fair few of. Yeah, I have a fair few of these. Okay. Should give me some extra credits, too. Let's see how badly I do. I mean, this is a tier 4, pretending to be a tier 5. So... But I'm guessing you say you uh, wonder. And... From what I remember, their stock has dropped a bit, but everybody's stock is dropping, so... Can't really base that on anything. <laughs> and there was a dumb poll that was done a while back that was like, oh, we asked so many Americans if they would drink Corona beer, you know, with the coronavirus around. But that's not what they asked people. They just asked people if they would drink Corona beer. Which means if they were to have asked me, I would have told them no, because I don't drink beer. I don't drink any alcohol. Like, they literally made their, their test in such a way just to make people look stupid. Oh boy, that Leander's going to abandon the north. Looks like everyone's going D. You guys could read the chat. Uh, <laughs> I get they all want that D, but come on. At least it seems like one of the Ismals is coming this way. The New Mexico has loaded and appears to be coming this way. No guarantees. There are no destroyers in this match, so the carrier needs to act as a destroyer. Hi, Kirov. Sorry, buddy. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it'll hurt me. And yes, I am firing high explosives, because that's what the British battleships do. Wow, I only have one shell. Uh, early battleship dispersion. <laughs> Bit of a waste there, Trento. He must be fairly new to the ships. I can't get at him too much. Is he even... Yeah, he's not even using a camo, so he's probably pretty new. I can't get at people too much. He's still learning. Thank you. 
Boom! Headshot! <laughs> That's what I intended to do earlier! Damn it. Frickin' early battleship dispersion! Yeah, he's gonna be too close to the island, I think. Hey, Ryusho, you kind of missed. There, little London. Ah, his mall. I think that was Nismal. <laughs> yeah, it was probably him. I can't blame the Ismal. Everyone wants to get their own damage in. About time somebody hit me! <laughs> About to be on fire again, buddy. See? Told you, New York. You're on fire again. Isn't that such a wonderful thing? Problems of being slow. <laughs> If that portal does not... Yeah, okay. He tried to capitalize, but early battleship dispersion! <laughs> saves me as much as it saves them. Only that New York. I feel kind of bad for it. Oh, it managed to escape the map border. Good on you, little buddy. ナノマテリアルによる欠損箇所の再構築完了重力支援陣に沈没損傷航行不能 And I missed him. Damn it. Is that... Yeah, that is the French premium, okay. I think. No, that might be the inline ship. No, Emile's the... Yeah, that's a premium. Yeah, and Laglas and is the premium tier 6. This is the ship based on the tier 4's design, but with triple barrel turrets. Hey, he has the Azure Lane flag. 
I, 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 I wish I would have caught that event. I want Admiral Hipper screaming at me for being an idiot. <laughs> Anyone even with even a rudimentary knowledge of Japanese knows exactly what she's saying. It doesn't take much to know Baka is idiot. <laughs> I think I've told this story before, but there's actually a Japanese exchange student who got away with calling people Baka all the time. Except members of the anime club, because we all knew. <laughs> She'd still call me Baka, but, you know, it's just how it works. She was quite adorable. She was actually a member of the anime club for a bit. Yeah, I'll back it. Not much sense waiting for the end of this battle when I can just start a new battle! Alright, AI. And yeah, I think I already mentioned it, but in warships here, the British battleships use high explosive rounds more than anything. Their armor piercing works, but they have enhanced uh, high explosive. So, for example, my main guns have 86 millimeters of penetration with the their high explosive rounds, which is a lot of millimeters of penetration. When you know, let's hop to Byron here, which is a battleship, and you know its armor belt's pretty thick, but. You know, it, its deck is 40, its plating, its superstructure plating is 16, its aft and fore 26, <laughs> its icebreaker front is only 30. When you compare those numbers to a cruiser of the tier... Alright, not us. Have a good night. You know... This only has 105 for its citadel and is really frail everywhere else. And once you start, you know, if you can manage to punch downwards into it with plunging fire, um, you'll go into the plating and then into the citadel. French cruisers are not a great example, they're not very durable, but, you know. I had just basically got two Citadel hits on a Kirov, it only has 50 millimeters of Citadel armor. And this is its Citadel. Like, this is vital ship armoring. If you can penetrate this, you're penetrating the Citadel. Which means my shells deal maximum damage. I should use London. I am not impressed with this ship. It's silly looking. Like... That is its vitals. <laughs> the problem is... Well... At least with how I've been using it, which is in scenarios, the AI knows how to shoot at it. Players really don't. Um, which causes problems. Its guns are also kind of underwhelming. I like Exeter more. Exeter is a much older ship, though. Still looks pretty damn silly, though. Oh, hey, Iron Duke's back. Oop, no, I, di I didn't want this. Just want to turn those back on. Collapse that. Exeter is actually a premium I got at Christmas time for free, which is nice. I also got London for free from the last event that just happened. I take Iron Duke out again because I spent that long rambling about things. Am I close to the hull upgrade? I'm close enough. I don't mind spending a tiny amount of free XP on it.
Hull upgrade. Visually, it's basically the same. Um, I had to go sell the a hull because making some money back. There it is. I think that's the only module I have to sell. Because my other modules are outright modules instead of... Yeah. Oh, I should also be working on Furious. No, I should probably be working on Furious more. Because I want Implaceable. I want the tier 8 carrier. <laughs> and I have almost the silver. But I'm still 40,000 experience off. Which, without premium time, this is going to take forever. <laughs> um... Hmm... Show sure some European camos around here. Somewhere. Uh... These it? Yeah, these are it. Okay, I don't have many of them yet. I'll use it anyway! I just need to remember to take them off. Um, I've still got a small backlog of things I need to play because they've been gifted to me. So... I'd advise not. Like, I told uh, Red a long time ago that I would do uh, Garfield Kart, because he gifted that to me. But I was really waiting for Robotic to be here first, and that's the problem. <laughs> like, even something like One Shot, I'd kind of want to do with her. Because that is a game both her and I have looked at before. Same with I plan on streaming uh, Nuclear Throne, but I want to wait until she's around so we can do it uh, co-op. There is an on there is a mod, but Wi-Fi cut off. Um, so if we were to do it, it'd basically have to be a day stream, and then on top of that, her parents just have this nasty habit of just bursting into her room whenever they feel like it, and I don't want that on a stream. Um, as much as I would love to have their asshole tree on video, um, I still don't want it to happen during a stream. Fair enough. Oh boy. Oh, Ranger, I feel for you, buddy. That is a lot of tier 8s. Good luck figuring out where I live. Because all the information that's really out there is it's in Nova Scotia and it's not Digby. You know how many other towns exist. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't eat toasted bagels, so I mean... You would just be giving me food. Potentially, I would open one. It really depends on how much uh, call there is for it. Cause, like, I, I would kind of love to have one because I just I love the idea of them. 
Well, I broke things. Damn it. I should have just dropped this sooner. Hey! I set him on fire! If he fixed those things, he'll now be burning for a while. Was the T sixty one? Though I've kind of always had this thing where I like letters. <laughs> I actually, in um, seventh grade, had uh, it was mandatory, but I had fun doing it. Uh, we had pen pals. It was rather fun. That's a tier 8 cruiser, isn't it? Yep, that would explain why my planes keep melting to him. Yeah, it was the T-61. was over here. <laughs> Ranger, I'm gonna be a dick. Who so turpins? Yes! Got another fire! <laughs> it's all I could have ever dreamed of. What? What is shooting me? Yeah, I'm just gonna call those back. Part of the Bayard. Whatever it was that hit me, frickin' hurt. I'm dead. No, it's the Fuso. I think. God damn it. 
Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Great job, team. Why would he fly through that? And yes, I am very much salty that my team more or less just let this Bismarck and Cruiser just come up here. Like, seriously guys? This is the problem with carriers. <sighs> oh jeez, I'm skipping frames? What? I've apparently dropped 15 to 16 percent of my frames over the last two minutes. That ain't good. Huh. Have you guys noticed anything wrong? Because <laughs> it's apparently happened over the past four minutes. So. Huh. I think it's just Streamlabs being Streamlabs then. Um, it likes to be Streamlabs. So, you know. Oh, I'm getting so close to finishing this one. Okay, so... Light 10 fires. Okay. But no, not the... Right! I'm not... Well, no, I will have the commander. I thought I was in battle with Iron Duke. Come here, Thunderer. <laughs> I need... I need Iron Duke's captain back. This was Thunderer's captain. I've just moved to be... Uh, my inline crew... Uh, battleship captain as well. This is a survivability build. With, you know, faster damage control reload... Time, faster time to repair fires, uh, fix flooding, lower chance of catching fire, more consumables. <laughs> now, see, Streamlabs does not enjoy being Streamlabs. Streamlabs does not enjoy existing. Streamlabs would rather break and never work again. That is Streamlabs in a nutshell. <laughs> But I will quickly bear it back because I have to use the bathroom. So behave and chat while I'm gone. I mean, there's only really you here, AI, so there's... I, I trust you'll behave. No arguing with yourself, no calling yourself names. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah, I shall be back.
I am back. You are not an idiot. Do I have to time you out? <laughs> I told you to behave. I'm over here breaking rules. Hey, only one destroyer a team. We have a Shimakaze. They have a small land though, and I know no small land has a radar, so they arguably have the better destroyer. I mean I am an idiot. So There's no arguing, I am an idiot. Um I mean, you're in school, so you're, you're already leagues ahead of me, so, you know. I only know shit because I'm dumb. <laughs> I know from experience. That ain't... That ain't being smart. <laughs> Shame if you uh, caught on fire. I, mean, I kind of am an idiot. I I have the Nova Scotian equivalent of street smarts, and that's about it. <laughs> Don't love their price tags. <laughs> Damn it! My shells landed all around him. Oh jeez. Hindi. <laughs> oh, the Hindenburg's going backwards. Now he's going forward again. Hindi! <laughs> Decide where you're going! Good god, man! Now what he's trying to do is keep himself hidden from the enemies while still being able to shoot at them. Like, I know what he's doing and I understand why he's doing it, but it's annoying <laughs> because he was right in my way. A number higher than 12, that's what it is. Yes, I did that to a teacher once. 
they were not impressed. But they couldn't call me wrong. Because technically, I am still right. It is a number higher than 12. I just don't have the mental capacity to figure out how many extra zeros it needs. It's 12 with four zeros. Because you get a zero free, and then you get a zero for each of the numbers. I did see it, I couldn't read it. <laughs> I tried to, but I, I just couldn't. Also, Ohio, you're now in my way. This is everyone getting in my way! Switch to my AP, because that Thunderer seems to really like his broadsides. Oh, and of course, now he angles up. But he's not angled enough. Though I missed anyway. Bad AI. I said not to do what I do. <laughs> Hi, Hindi. There's two fires. I need more. Or I say Damn it. I said more fires, not fewer fires. And zero is fewer than one. There's another fire. Still need more though. I need like ten. <laughs> I also really need my armor repair back already. Damn it. Of course he'd get a flood. Also, of course, most of my AA guns are already broken. Yeah, I am pretty much screwed. My AA guns are shot. There's death. Fire? No fire. I have like a 70 odd percent chance of lighting fires. I am not doing so hot tonight. Jeez. That amount of damage is downright embarrassing for a Thunderer. So, I only need three more fires and I'll have that. I might actually have those. I'll play another match anyway, because I don't really want to sit around and wait. Um... Okay, I should have three more of these camos? Yeah, okay.
at the very least, that time I put myself in that situation. I pushed forward way too much. I really shouldn't have. But I only really pushed forward because that Ohio was in my way. I couldn't turn the other way. Frickin' Americans, man. Americans and Germans always getting in the way. Hindi's a German ship, and Ohio is, of course, an American one. At the very least, the Ohio was pushing forward, which is new. A lot of people that play American ships don't push forward. They sit back and lob shots. Which, albeit, is how realistic naval battle worked, but this isn't realistic. <laughs> it's realistic enough to be fun. It's not so realistic, it's not fun anymore. Which is the problem War Thunder has. War Thunder is realistic to the point where I personally don't find it fun. It's just frustrating. Now, I mean, you can do some impressive crap in War Thunder that, you know, you could also do in, in real life, theoretically. But, like... It's annoying still. Like, flying a plane while missing most of a wing. You know, that's possible, but... It's still frustrating. You can lose that part of your wing. <laughs> like... Maybe I'm the crazy one. Hey! Tier 5-6 game! I'll be able to do things! It's always great when you're able to do things. Also, I just noticed that my desktop audio was is really loud. I need to fix that. It shouldn't be that high. That's that's better. <laughs> that's more where it should be. It's still a little high, but it's closer. I don't exactly have time to finesse it. I apologize for how loud that was. Though any of you with like good headphones slash headsets was probably hearing a lot of nice sound. Well, okay, there's an Emil over here. It's right there. There's the Farget. Yeah, I'm going to lose a lot of those planes. I'm just going to call them back. I don't exactly want to lose my dive bombers. <laughs> oh, Ryujo, you are kind of screwed if that Laglasson Air is full AA. He going to screw you up. Don't tell me my planes are stuck there. I think it's just a visual bug, though. And I think I'm pretty safe to, uh... Strike the Emil now. Yeah, I mean, I'm using my rockets. It really doesn't matter. Whoops. Didn't want to launch a flight of four planes. All those back. Did not mean to launch those. <laughs> I'm not going to get to torpedo the... Uh, the Emil and I know it. Emils are way too fast. That's the Emil's torpedoes. I'm assuming anyway. Based on the fact there's three of them. I'm gonna see if I can spot him again. 
There he is. Yeah, I didn't expect to get any of these planes back. <laughs> that is a lot of things together, but I do see a couple of relatively isolated targets. One is, a, one is an Uzmo, which will mean I am going to be losing some planes. But, not Uzmo. Ismail. Bleh. Yeah, if that was an Uzmo, we'd be screwed. Uh, because then someone would have managed to get a tier 9 in this tier 5 game. <coughs> Actually, let's just do it again. It's Uzmo. I've just heard Uzmo so long, I keep calling it that, but it's Uzmo. That is the only way it makes sense pronouncing it in Japanese. I'm going to start moving. The team isn't exactly having the best time over here. That Laglazanaire is also not AA built. Yep, and here goes the teammate blaming starting. I really don't want to go near that Devonshire. There he is. Yeah, that's way more health than I really want to deal with. Nice to see Flak flying through an island. <laughs> I'll never understand when destroyers start bitching at uh, battleships. Especially when the enemy destroyer is no has its location known, but it's not in visual range. Like what is what do they expect? <laughs> a battleship isn't just going to run headlong into a destroyer. It's just not going to do it.
Now the general joke is battleship players are dumb, but they're not that dumb. Like... Sadness. Jeez. 30,000 damage. I'm in the middle of the team. Oh, yeah, I didn't actually quite finish more ribbons, but this time I did. So now, yes! Europe containers! I can finally see what's in them! That wasn't so much a good game. I'm gonna open them one at a time, because I like doing that. Ah! Okay, so I'm assuming 10 tokens per container. Hopefully more than 10 possible per container? Yes! Okay. That's cool. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah! Coal! <laughs> I think that's actually enough tokens that I might be able to grab one of the new destroyers. Though I think it'd only be the tier 5, and I'm not overly interested in that. Oh no, okay, it's 200. I'm closing in on it, though. I'm gonna aim for Oland, at least. Maybe Skane, if I can't get Oland. Because I think Skane is where the European gun gimmick takes over. Yes, okay. This is where the European gun gimmick c comes into play. That being really fast firing 120mm Bofors. Um, only two guns, but it's firing each of those guns 3.2 seconds at base, and there's these two handy little skills right here. This one decreases the reload of guns with a main battery guns with a caliber up to and including 139 by 10%. This one boosts their range by 20%. <laughs> very, very handy on things like that. European guns fire stupidly fast. Like, we can't see the numbers on Holland yet, but we can see them on ostrich here um it has 2.3 second reload rates on its two turrets two double barreled turrets along with having eight freaking torpedoes that go quite the long way <laughs> these things are going to be silly I am really hoping I can at least get Oland, because Oland has 2.5, 6 torpedoes that go a pretty long way, pretty fast, reload stupidly fast. These things are so broken. I want one. <laughs> I've wanted Friesland for a while, which was a free experience ship that's existed in the game for quite a while, 
it has no torpedoes, but it has the European guns. And, yeah, these are gonna be... These are gonna be silly. If I can get it, I'm going to get uh, this little destroyer here. That way I have a premium destroyer to train the captains on and go from there. You need a tier 5 ship to start taking part in the event though. So if you want to start taking part in this event AI, you gotta, gotta get grinding. <laughs> gotta get yourself up to tier 5. Shouldn't take too long in all honesty. I really wish it would tell me how close I actually am. Hate doing math. Um, so I have 17,030 coal in steel. Yeah, calculator. <laughs> Hopefully the hotkey actually works. Come on. I have a hotkey for this. It's function calculator. It does not want to... Give me the calculator! Damn it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm at 45,000 coal, technically. I need 51. So I'm 5,853 coal short. That'll be a couple more days. But yeah, at least I'm pretty sure, it, yeah, it's ships of tier 5 and higher, so. I suppose... Uh, okay, that's... European of tier 8 or higher. I was supposed to say, I, was, I, was, I, I swore I saw a 3 there, because I technically did. It's just uh, it the 5 in front of it. A lot of the events are tier 5 and higher, because if they weren't, a lot of players would just drop back to tier 3, 4, and start just seal clubbing while doing the, the things. So Wargaming locks it to tier 5. Which isn't the worst thing to do, but I, I honestly wish they would just allow it for everybody, because seal clubbing happens anyway. Yeah. Three more days until this one opens, which will be five more containers. Which I might get the 200 out of that. This will be six more. And then seven more there. And then daily shipments, which is basically just log in, click the reward. It has a European container in it. So there's an extra one, and there's two more at the very end. <laughs> so I might get enough through everything to get at least the tier 7. Maybe. I'm hoping for the tier 8. Basically, for a while, um, if you're wondering what I mean by people would go back to Tier 3, 4 if they could to do these events, at one point Wargaming had it so that any event, any tiered ship could be used. And because as, chip, as ships go higher in tier, they cost more and more at the end of every battle, people would go back to the Tier 3 or 4 ships because they could still get the missions done and they would save a lot of silver. But the problem is, people still go back to tier 2, 3, 4 anyway, you know, when, when they're in, like, my position, and beat the ever-living snot out of new players, because, well, that's where the new players are. <laughs> okay, I only have two of the Okay, no, I have a bunch of these camos now. I was opening crates, right. How are my signals doing? Yeah, okay. Whatever. 
never locking? Not exactly sure what you're referring to. It's probably something I said and my brain's just gone lit. <laughs> Bane! Or, I'm sorry, X Bane X! So edgy. That is a lot of destroyers and battleships. And one cruiser a team. I think I missed my chance to use my horn. I might have said tier locking. Basically what I mean by that is like events like the European event are locked to ships tier 5 and higher. Because people abuse to the fact that resource costs are a thing. Um, what's my buddy? Okay, it's a ranger. Not gonna drop a fighter. Okay. Oh, Nicholas. Now let's see if this guy is also an idiot. So I just broke something. Is he gonna? Has he fixed it? Oh, I didn't break anything else, so I can't tell. <laughs> he may have fixed it. Our Nicholas now has a decent advantage, because the enemy appears to have outright missed, or just not even bothered trying to strike him. Really rather continue going after the stuff up here. Congos are not heavily AA defensed. That makes sense to somebody. Potentially me. Our furry taco has yet to start moving. God damn it. Yes, that is what Furutaka has become known as in warships. It is the furry taco. Oh, Congo, you do not want to be coming in here, buddy. Because Omaha has torpedoes. Oh, apparently I'm skipping frames again. West Virginia. <laughs> Take me home. I should just recall that. Okay, that is an American ship. I know where it is. It's relatively on its own. Let's see if I can get some torpedo hits. Um, 
Why does it being an American ship matter? Because American ships don't move fast. Not until, like, Tier 8. So, this shouldn't be the hardest thing to torpedo. That Congo is staying way in the back. He is afraid of me planes. He's afraid of me lucky charms! Okay, they've got visual on the Visby. I don't really need to help them there. What I will do, however, is drop another fighter there. I mean, he is actually trying to dodge, which, you know, makes it kind of hard, but I still hit him with a couple. Let's see if I can help him with this Visby. Also, watching you may be wondering, why is he not using any rocket planes, really? British rocket planes suck. They move way too slowly. Okay, they're not going to need my help there. Aw, <laughs> I was hoping I could steal the kill. Oh hey, the Congo moved. Thanks, buddy. You made that a lot easier for me. Yeah, I'll use the rockets. I should be moving up a little bit. Where am I? Oh, oh, no, no, I shouldn't be. Ow. The hell? Guys! Okay, it's dead. Jeez. Did not realize the South had just given up. For Otaka, volley firing is much more accurate. <laughs> that is the thing. When firing your guns, double click. It's much more accurate than just holding down left click. You can fire either way, but volley firing is much more accurate. Thus, much more effective. I really hope he put out that one fire. Oh, it seems like he put out that first fire. <laughs> oh, you poor Byron. You can let a single fire burn, buddy. You don't have to put out one fire. Two fires, on the other hand, you should probably put out. 
And now there's a good chance he's flooding too. Oh, this poor Bayern. Bayern. I don't know which it would be. I don't speak German. I only even have an idea that it's Izumo is just just because I have studied a bit of Japanese instead of Uzumo as I've been saying for the tier 9 Japanese battleship. I know where their destroyer is, so I'm not overly concerned. I should probably take care of the destroyer, or at least help with that. Or I'm not needed. That Iron Duke is gonna be a pain to strike, though, because he's abusing the map border. <laughs> the map border messes with aircraft. I'll be lucky if my planes don't get stuck. Yeah, now I'm way over here. Um, which is not where I wanted to be. So fire, Colmar's back. The Nicholas and the Furutaka should have the Iron Duke. I'm gonna go after the Congo. Because it's not by the map border. <laughs> That's literally why. It's not by the map border. Jeez, I'm apparently skipping a lot of frames. Or at least so says... I don't know. <laughs> when did you say it? Probably around the time I pointed out that Furutaka has been uh, dubbed Furry Taco. Those aren't gonna hit. <laughs> Sorry, squirrels. Or not. They actually got off. It's just... I dropped them way too late. They did not take care of the Iron Duke. Nothing wrong with that. Ah, oh, jeez, that's gonna... <laughs> no, I actually hit him decently well. Thank you, RNG. Thank you, RNGesus. I'm just gonna full speed this the whole way. I, I have not used a single boost on these yet. So it's not gonna hurt. Oh, 
I mean, just in case you ordered a furry taco? I mean, that's... I'm pretty sure you probably wouldn't have. <laughs> And there's game. That was a pretty nice match for this thing. I think that was one of the best I've ever had in it. And I still wasn't even top of the team. That Fargate did much better. But I was top of everybody else. I'm gonna have to see. 118,000. Come here, profile. Uh, furious. Yep, that is the most damage I have ever dealt. With Furious. Fair enough. That is the brilliance of two uh, two step off and uh, yeah, <laughs> two step off. <laughs> I can't speak. You know, it, it, it's, cl it's close enough to the two-hour mark of streaming. I'm already past the two-hour mark. I might just end the stream here, because I'm not going to do any better than that match. <laughs> Though I kind of want to keep going. Hmm. I'll keep streaming a while. I have not played a hat in time, but uh, Robotic does want to make me play it. She has, and she loves the game. Um, it'll probably be on the channel at some point. She needs to be here first, because she's the one that owns it. <laughs> so... I mean, there is the whole family sharing thing on Steam, but at the same time, I'd like to do it with her, because, I mean, she really likes the game, so... Ooh. How have I even been doing tonight? Not great. I'm going to count the battles I had before as well. One, two, three, four wins to one, two, three, four, five, five losses. Hmm. Wait, was there anything I wanted to change on this captain? No. Okay. I actually forget, where is Furutaka in the tech tree? I think it's the tier... S no, it's the tier 5, okay. So I thought, I thought it was the tier 6, but that's... Yeah, Furutaka is the first ship to get 203s. <laughs> well, the earliest ship to get 203s anyway. And it has an interesting turret layout. It's Seahull 
well, I can't show it, but it turns these into double barrel turrets. So there's two double barrels in the front and one double barrel in the back, I think. Or is it... Yeah. Two in the front, one in the back. Well, yeah, two in the front, one in the back. So it basically moves this gun up here, and yeah. I never actually used for Otaka. I skipped right on past it. I didn't use Oba much either. If I used it at all, I forget. No, yeah, I used it a little bit, and then I got Miyoko. With the intention of using it for Narai, and Narai is still gone. Uh, is there anything about this captain I want to change? No, not really. Okay. Narai being probably the best experience gain operation in the game. Sadly, you can't take tier 6s into it. It's only tier 7s. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know. Cuz I could Hmm. Yeah, I'll do an operation. I'll do I'll do a run of Aegis with by uh, Bayern here because I, I haven't really used Bayern much. This captain is finally set up properly for a secondary build. This ship is not great for secondaries, but you know it's he can try. Um, these secondaries are just kind of sad. The French tier six has better secondaries. <laughs> Outside of the Japanese, though, you're hard-pressed to find better guns for the tiers, so, you know. Let's see how badly I do. I'm partially wanting to end because I don't know why I keep skipping frames, and I think it's because my computer wants to restart, because thank you, Windows Update, which I told the service to stop, and yet it somehow is still frickin' running! Because thank you, Windows 10, for not respecting my wishes to not want to update. I tend to only update when it's important. That's what Streamlabs is saying, is that I'm skipping frames. Yeah, I know it's undoubtedly purely on my end. It's probably because I think I'm outputting at 60 frames per second, but YouTube is only receiving at 30. So that's probably the issue. Because YouTube, well, it only receives at 30 for streaming. Unless you're affiliate. Okay, there are three battleships here. I was about to say, I really hope no, I'm not the only battleship. Because I am not great with the German battleships. They're actually the battleships I started with. And you know what, before I quit, I'm going to just prove to you AI I was terrible when I first started. I'll go dig up some of my old ship uh, results. Because they're almost all the German ships. Because <laughs> I wanted Bismarck. And then I then people started telling me that Bismarck was garbage. So I was like, oh, well, I'll move to French ships, I guess. Turns out Bismarck's actually pretty cool, and I just moved out of the German ships for nothing. But it also means I had basically no practice with them. <laughs> Bayern is also dinky. Um, I 
Okay, the Ismail stopped. Why would you stop, buddy? Just so he knows I'm here. And I missed. I can't tell if the destroyers have died. What am I doing? Oh, okay, three of them are a division. Fair enough. I am gonna go wide. Cause I'm really not fond of going straight through the center. Like, even in a cruiser, I still tend to dip down this way, because that that center just tends to be a bit of a uh, torpedo magnet. I won't be much help with up there, though. Because this thing's just slow. Fair enough. I never played hockey at school. I was never a fan of hockey either. Attention. It's just fighting on ice. I want to see fighting. I'll, I'll watch professional fighters. Not, you know, drunk Irishmen, basically. Uh, <laughs> so drunk Irishmen would probably be much more interesting to watch. A little bit racist, maybe, but it's still funny. Uh, <laughs> maybe he is, and he's just a sh and, and he's just too shy to tell you. I was going for shy, and my brain was like, "A word." Didn't mean no. No, there is no A word that means shy. <laughs> to be fair, you can only take a high schooler's word so much. The reason I say this is because until I was about 22, I did not realize I was bi. <laughs> so... You can never know. Could just be he hasn't met his Lola Bunny yet. Which is a reference you may or may not get. so much a meme, it's just Lola Bunny is the character that basically started people being like, hey! <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say that. She's more standard body type.
にダメージを与えた。It's not saying she isn't pretty attractive, but you know. If you put a character in the hands of the internet, you give them frickin' ten minutes, and that character will be drawn with breasts larger than her body, um, an ass that uh, sticks is probably about twice the mass of the rest of her body, and somehow people find that attractive. I don't understand how, but you know, whatever, whatever floats their boat. Um, That shores completely <laughs> outranges me. Yeah. Baron's guns are so short range. The thing's also painfully slow. Like, people get at the Americans for being slow. This thing's almost as slow. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> Why do you hope for that? Trying to discover new ones? I mean... <laughs> I could dig through the catalog. I love how all this time, none of you know any of the fetishes I have except being a furry. And it'll probably stay that way, because it's it's just funny. It's funny to me that that... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't need to be fetish talk for that. I'm about to get torpedoed. Oh, me getting torpedoed? I mean, I, I can see what would make that amusing. I know what you mean. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, it is technically my job to make the funnies. I don't think I did too bad. Could have done better, but I was second on the team. I got a C star. The Ranger did not get a C star. <laughs> Neither did the uh, P. E. Frederick. I forget what shield is. Wow, that guy made it all the way to rank one. I kind of got stalled out at rank nine. Yep, it's a it's a real fetish. Did you think I was making that up? <laughs> it's a real fetish. I I really have to wonder how people find out they have it. Like, do they just fall down the stairs one day? And it's like, oh god, <laughs> Mr. Happy, what? <laughs> What are you doing up? Then they start strategically trying to find ways to fall down the stairs without hurting themselves. I mean, I'm about to end the stream off, so you you have an excuse to go to bed. Uh, <laughs> because I should probably eat. I have barely eaten anything today. And I am now out of tea, so... I'll leave Gascon here. And all of her flashing lights. Because technically, because this is a boat, Gascon is female. Because that just that makes sense. Um I mean Azure Lane's Gascon is pretty uh pretty attractive, not gonna lie. Um A lot of the Azure Lane girls are. And a lot of them aren't. And based on something I said earlier, you could probably gather which group of them I don't like. Uh <laughs> But yeah, I am going to be ending the stream here. There is a Discord, should anyone wish to join it. It's linked in the description down below. Uh, Discord's a free-to-join thing, so feel free to join up. It's a nice little chat program thing. I announce there every time I go live, whether it be on Twitch or on YouTube. There is also a link to my Twitch, should you wish to join that and follow on there. You can. It's I stream on there, too, just about every other day. Um... With all that out of the way, I will be back streaming tomorrow on Twitch for Friday Night Yu-Gi-Oh! So hopefully I shall see you all there. I messed up my, my outro a bit. Well, see you all tomorrow!